Hello, everybody, and welcome or welcome back to Tiny Rogues, the massively updated action roguelite. We are going to be going in to do something a little bit weird with the ninja here. I'm going to be going for a magic build because it's been a little bit since I've done one, and none of these characters are inherently magical that we haven't played yet. So, Shadow Jutsu on dash, summon a shadow clone companion that uses a different weapon and grants a different effect depending on if you are using a melee, ranged, or magic weapon. So I am going to go for, hopefully, an intelligence build, a magic build. I have switched off the perk that gives you more of the stat you have most of, so we can pivot into intelligence, hopefully, more effectively. But as far as what this character even does, I am going to have to go in to find out. So that is what we are going to do. We've got Stam Up, Dash Length. I always feel weird about that. Oh, it's oh, it's a summon above her head. Okay. Increase movement speed near a wall. W this is all weird. Uh, but we're going to take this 20% mana drain uh, buff forever. That is going to be the hope. Magic Shadow Clones attack two times per second, dealing dark magic damage. And each granting a minus 15% mana drain threshold. Interesting. Very interesting. I mean, we will uh, we'll definitely see. It's tough early on to do um, <laughs> to do these dashes and feel like we can get away with it because the huge reload time or whatever you want to call it. That being said, getting that third one to start is definitely helpful in negating that. Totem, holy moly. All right, let's get the... In oh, I don't have a bomb. That's such a fast secret room. That is uh, such a fast one. Boop. All right. On kill and on combat starts, step on a mana star. I mean, you could. Uh, strong together is interesting. If we were going to be going for an actual summon build, which we... We could try, I guess. On kill and combat start. I don't know if I'm wowed by these right now. And I'm not sure that I'm going to be wowed by these either. Grants harmony while you've dealt three kinds of hmm, elemental damage. So 50% increase attack speed. There's something about that. I, I don't know. On dash could help us get some on dash procs by teaching the game that that's what I want. Uh, on dash gain full stacks of tailwind which is basically just going to be the four stacks. So 20% attack speed, move speed, orbital speed. Sure. But also on top of the fact that, like, I mean, what else am I going to do with that one there? The other stuff is not going to be builds that I'm looking for at this moment. Could go to the shop, but yeah. God, it's nice to be a, a character that actually starts out really strong. That is tempting, but nope. God, it's nice. The last character was just not impressive. Let's just checking to see if it's even going to be worth it. We get the accessory that I, I think we always get the same thing, right? Maybe we don't. Is it always? I feel like it's always this. 20% increased damage dealt to health. Uh, nothing wrong with it when you don't have an accessory. It does just help. Offhand, I could. I don't feel like it's worth re-rolling. Oh, nice to, nice to get the freaking Minotaur. I do like that. It's just good to fight an easy as hell boss, you know? These new bosses, I tell you. These newfangled freaking bosses. They just, uh... They got so, uh... So spicy with them. All right, which is good, but also like, I almost, uh, here's the thing. I'm I'm maybe even saying these ones should get some love when you unlock the new ones. Maybe these ones should become more difficult. I know, I know. Increase movement speed per stack on combat start. <laughs> Whoa, wait. Starts with 100%, I mean, wow. On entering a floor, makes the rewards offered after defeating the boss offer an extra choice. 
Huh. I'll take that instead. I know. I know, I know, I know. It's... Oop. What did I do? Oh my god. I took my hand off the keyboard. When I put it back, I just put it down wrong. I just... Not that anybody cares. I gotta... <laughs> okay, also, maybe somebody's gonna... Uh... I'm gonna say the word paper cut, and uh, if that bothers you, stop listening. I got a huge paper cut on my thumb right now, and it is making my uh, my keyboard posture awful. It's on my thumb, and I'm not joking, it's like maybe an inch and a half, two inches long. It's crazy. Uh, oh boy. So, apologies. We'll see what we can do. So far, so fine, though. Ah! Oh, you hate to see it. I, thanks a lot, paper cut. Thanks a lot. Oh, you really did it now. It wasted my bomb. That's probably going to be the most... Uh, probably going to be the most impactful thing it did all day. It's going to be my guess. This will become relevant eventually. It is currently not at all. It is immediately about to become relevant. This guy's currently using the shuriken, which is cool. But I want to get wacky with it. Oh, boy. So he uses a different weapon, huh? Yeah, he's just... Okay. So I think he just has kind of like a... A default thing there. Each point of mana additionally grants more damage over time. It would have to end up being a one-hander. 23. I'm going to get it for the flexibility. Also... I don't know. We, we may end up going for a, uh, a dex and intelligence scaling weapon. I don't know. Charm seems good. Alright. We gotta no-hit this so I can see, uh... So I can see another, uh, choice. I don't think I've ever seen five choices. Get that mana back. Basically, just want to get rid of these. It's a nice chill-out day, though. We got... Oh, the easy bosses. I do not feel like my damage has improved... ...yet, as far as taking the... ...magic weapon goes. I don't think it's improved. All right, now here's the question. Is there a cap of four? Nope. Nope. There is not. I used this yesterday. It's so good, too, though. It feels worth... There's five slots. I'm not going to use this literally just because I, I literally used it yesterday. Otherwise, I would... Five slots feels like a worthy reroll. Eh. You know, okay, flare specs is it's getting me towards a magic damage over time build that plays well with chemtech. Because I see the words right here. Each point of mana grants 22% more damage over time from effects inflicted by mana draining weapons. I, that's a big deal. Like, I'm putting this on. I know it gives me nothing. I know if anything... Oh, God. Where are we going? We're going to hell, right? I know it gives me nothing. 
but I want to convince the game. I'm gonna, I'm literally gonna gaslight the game into thinking that I'm a fire build. So that maybe the game gives me fire-based stuff. I know there's a system that does it. I'm literally just gonna try and gaslight this game. Yeah, this is a fire build. You, <laughs> this is a fire build. I have lots of fire damage. I'm gonna literally wear crap. Wait, why am I doing fire? Why am I doing fire? Oh, does this, um... Does this give you fire damage if you don't do any? That is a thing I did not know. I'm definitely applying burn. I need a one-handed weapon really fast then. It has to be magic for what it's worth. Oof. Oh, okay, it's a backup armory. There's only two. Two options in there. One-handed fire. No. It is a one-handed weapon. As the... Wait, primary attack does this much damage. It's a... It's a bibble, so it's an orbital. I mean, I think we give it a look, right? Yeah, this is... Yeah, this is better. Wait, also, nature damage does something now, right? Inflicts nettles. Unfortunately, there is no tooltip for nettles yet, I guess. But yeah, we do still have this summon guy. I don't think I'm going to be keeping the druid boible. We're absolutely applying burn, so I guess... Grants plus three to 70 fire damage. I mean, it makes sense, the phrasing. It's not... It's never been wrong. Let me guess... Alright, this is what I've been waiting on my heels and stuff for. Okay. What have I done? Potion buff that recovers half a heart on completing a combat encounter. Um, if I could get the permanent potions. A, a ranged weapon doesn't have to not gr give mana. Not use mana, rather. Okay. I wish I knew what nettles do. But I do not remember the Twitter post. Which is where I'd have to... Have to know right now. Yeah, we're, we're at a boss. Can you tell that this is a newer boss? Because of the way that it is? Is it a newer boss? Oh, that was a suppress! Man, I can't wait until I actually have a, a build that makes sense. The nature damage is obviously weak against him. Really? What the hell is this? Ghost Javelins afflicts Shriek. It's a physical damage over time effect that deals 100% of physical damage as a wound. Uh, so here's the thing. That... Oh. Okay. Uh, 
if I could make this a magical Molotov cocktail, that might be a little something. There are ways to do that now. Surely it's a it's a one-handed yep it's a one-handed Molotov. This could be something if I could find. Um, oh gosh, wait, but it's it's not a magical weapon. It's a ranged weapon. That doesn't matter. That actually doesn't matter because each one grants you. They all do magic damage for what it's worth. I, the magic shadow clone reduces my mana drain threshold. Cool. Um, the shadow clones, the rain shadow clones, give me uh, weapon repeats, which is just legit. So I don't care that it's not a ranged one, but I do need to get mana draining on it. Or maybe this will just have a fire, one handed fire thing for me. Sniper beetle wand? I mean, it's just good. It's just good. I don't know what to say. Uh, inflicts snow brand. It's a two-hander, so this is already not useful. Wait, does 100% of cold infliction damage as fire damage? Interesting. I think this is the best thing right now. Like, if I can turn the Molotov cocktail into a magical thing, like, that might be better. I do see that uh, secret room. Zoop, zoop. So each one increases my chance to... Uh-oh. Uh-oh! <laughs> to double attack. Interesting. That is very interesting. Oh, that is very potentially interesting. That could be good. Get a little bit of dex, I guess. Do we need to attune? No, we just need... Okay, I'm seeing the bugs. I'm seeing the bugs. We're doing good. I saw the bugs, which is good considering. I don't think I have that high of crit. Increase burn tick speed. Burn duration is reduced by three seconds, but does 100% more damage. Okay, so burn is a fire ailment that does 100% of fire infliction damage as fire damage, 2.4 times per second, lasts a second. Yeah, that can be useful. Oh my God, look at this. <laughs> look at this guy. Petition to have this open up this. I do think it'd be uh, maybe too strong, but. Okay, we really need more mana now. Okay. Yeah, the, the strength one gives crit, so it's almost uh, a better call to go melee. Hmm. Hmm. It's all kind of snooze. We're at minus three evil already. Pretty nice. 
Uh, orbital speed could be good. I just talked about it before. Don't want to stand still to do it. Feels me. Yeah, I really want to. I want to get the ability to turn this into a mana using weapon. Really bad. I know you can now. We're going to be looking for, I guess, like the tavern. If I have enough money, I can almost force it at the tavern. Because right now, this is not a mana draining weapon, and thus the damage over time effects from it are not increased. Not yet. Ooh, I'm, I'm, I'll admit I'm curious. A crappy accordion. Would I rather have the, let's try, let's try this out. I'm just curious. What is what does this do? If I if I crit, I didn't even crit, sir. So. Can I? Oh no, it's a channeling weapon. It has to be a non-channeling weapon. Crappy ceremonial knife. All right. So here's the thing: it's a mana draining weapon. It's a melee. It's short range, reduced damage. This actually. Max stacks of poison with critical hits. This actually kind of checks all the boxes. I'm going to be real. Except for the fact that the range is abysmal. Illegal Imp Dagger. 75% critical hit multiplier based off of how evil you are? Wait. I think I'll probably get that. Is this souls? Critical hit multiplier, dash length, honeycomb. Wait. We have a build here. We have such a potential. Well. Short range. Ay, ay, ay. That's the that's the kicker. Three hundred percent critical hit multiplier is kind of silly. I need to make this drain mana, and then I'm like, I'm chilling. Oh, what am I doing? I forgot there's this guy's in the middle. This is channeling, so I'm probably just never going to use it. Um, it already helps a bit because this can poison. It's probably not going to get there, but we want to find a way to get 100% crit now. I don't do fire damage still, like... That, that's the problem. I, this would be better if this was... I I got excited when I saw it. I thought it was going to be a fire dagger. So, like... I might keep that, because I am I might pivot out of the fire thing and say, okay, fine. This could be really good. This could be better than this, even. It's probably... It probably even is, is the thing. I, I'm going to need... I'm gonna need to try and bolt. I do think that this is a no at this point. I need to enchant it. I think we're done here. And the melee, we get the melee dash uh, summons, which give us 15% melee crit chance. Right? Yeah, let's, let's watch our crit chance. 
45. Okay. We need the on dash stuff, which is under decks. Okay. We're, we're getting there. We're getting towards something but stupid. I can't sell this, so there's no point to go back to try. Um. God. I hate... I don't know yet there. That's the, my problem. I don't know yet, so no. Well, I can, I can spend a little. I could obviously, like, get it up to max and then put on the Kabuto helm. That also overflows me. I just... There's a couple... The thing I don't like about this is it is, um... Oh my god. <laughs> There's that instant 13 crit. Um... Yeah, the range is gonna be a little bit awkward. Ooh! Ooh, the crit, though. The charges? The range! The range! The range is so bad. Is there a limit to how many? No, doesn't say so. It's a charm. It takes up a charm slot, and we have a lot of levels left ahead of us. Like, a weird amount of levels left ahead of us, considering it's floor five, six. Okay, that definitely... They died pretty quick. I, the range, though, is definitely going to be the thing. Still waiting to be impressed by a fire weapon. <laughs> it happened. It happened. Ooh. Salaman dragons. It does mean that the fire boost... Okay, I do still kind of want to try that. I don't even need to look at the others. Um, okay. Primary attack does fire damage, which will apply burn, which is going to be increased because of the Chemtech Lantern. Um... We have the burn tick speed increased. 100% more damage, so multiplied damage. This is 25% more, so 50 more total. All right. It's all good. And it's still a melee weapon, but it does drain mana. It's got... It checks all of our boxes. It checks all of the boxes to potentially make something very stupid. I might get some strike. Alright, I think on Talia 5, burn ticks on an enemy when a burning or when a burning enemy dies, trigger a fiery burst. This didn't work yesterday, but I'm assuming it's because of something stupid we did. Yeah, no, this is working. It's hard to pass that up. Okay, so it does it does label that as an explosion, yeah? Alright, I, I might be able to just upgrade this sucker. 20% increased damage with non-crits is something we probably would upgrade out of. Why would I even go to the tavern at this point? But yeah, ideally we're going to be critting lots. The honeycomb, you know. I'd rather have this even if we... Oh, uh, boy. So it's... this. Is, here's the... This is the biggest problem of the whole 
setup is that it is mostly a strength scaling weapon. That's the biggest problem of the whole setup. Doesn't mean we can't use it and get a lot of damage out of it. Example being, we're getting lots of damage out of it. In fact, let's even, uh, we'll look into some strength mostly as it shows up. I'm missing gloves. Maybe this will help me out. It seems to be working just fine. Seems to be working just fine. Is not a close range thing. This fight. At all. Got my level. So low. It's so boring. Three arm. Ooh. Ooh. Uh, yeah, we're gonna need. Well, actually, ironically, don't we get the strength to wear these by putting them on? Yup. <laughs> 20 strength. There we go. Uh, we got the strength scaling. So let me take a look. 723. <laughs> we probably have... Yep, strength is our highest stat now. We can take a look at the evil shot, but we do want to... Um, Oh, you had to do it to me. Increased attack speed with swords. Oh, extra mana? Wait, can we get both? We can get both. Let's go this. I'm never going to use it. In fact... Ooh. Where's my attack speed? 45... Wait, what? Oh, yeah, oh, I didn't I didn't override it. All right. That'll do. That'll do. Uh Fireland. Okay, now we get the strength up. Oh boy. Ah, yes. Close range. I am looking for a uh, a better magic weapon. Do I just want a fire one at this point? Probably. I wouldn't mind more intelligence though. Uh oh. Surely. Here, I'll sell you some bees. I think we're done with this. I did not try out that. We bought it. Wait, did I? Like, he bought an illegal thing. I feel like you shouldn't. Maybe that'd be a, a fun little gimmick, like that they can't. Just a happy little taser. Crappy Aurora Scroll. I mean, it's still a legendary that we could... It's not It's not a channeling weapon, right? I don't think it's a channeling weapon. Let's try that out. I'm so behind on levels. Yep, it works. What's the cooldown on it? Attacks per second. 2.3. Alright, so there's some really cool deck stuff that we could get. I mean, we can make this permanent, but I honestly, I also don't really care. Get Trigger Mania. An emotion buff that grants you 100% increased trigger damage, which I will say, trigger damage? 
trigger damage. Yo! Boop, 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 boop. I mean, I'm probably going to go for neither. There's a world where I take, uh, like, that. there's, like, a legendary that I take instead. Oh! <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, I'm ready for the melee friendly phase here. Thank you. Cool. Very cool. I do need more crits. Good news is that is off of intelligence, of which we have a decent amount. What the hell is this tooth? It's okay. Increase infusion buffs. Armor. I mean. I'll take it so the game thinks I want crit because I want crit. Maybe that maybe that's a thing. I don't know. We did successfully gaslight the game into giving us a fire build. I will put that out there. Whoop. Yeah, I'm definitely a fire build. But now I actually am. With this other little element on top of it. More. Uh oh. Yep, saw that one coming. In my head, I had three dashes because I started the run with three dashes. I, in fact, don't have three dashes. Yep. Just a back to back bad setup. I need to stop dashing to get my status effects back. Or, not my status effects, my, uh, my summons out. It's already upgraded. I could repair my armor? Eh, sure. Good enough reason for me. Gloves, thank you. Don't have any. Oh boy. But you died? It's not the one I thought it would be. I want like that meteor scroll. Is it a legendary? All right, please be something good. Increased aura radius. <laughs> you know what? That might be better. Oh, it does change. 7.36. God, that makes such a difference. Makes such a difference. I am not wowed at all. The crit thing could be nice. I feel like we... Here's the thing. I think I'd find a better accessory anyways. I think I'll find one that's more obviously better. Boop, 
wild dodge choice. Am I cursed? I'm not even cursed. Uh. Wow me. Legendary fire scroll. Whoa! Is it a... Uh, well, periodically, during combat, periodically summons a fire hydra that lasts... I mean, I don't think that's going to do that. Each active hydra increases burn rate. If it does... It's incredibly cool. I just wanted to... I just wanted to look... Is that bad? Plus two, plus three, plus three enchanted. That probably sounds for the most, I'd assume. Yeah, I've already committed. God, my inventory lots are really at a premium, aren't they? If I summon those Hydras. I I really doubt they will, because I think I have to be holding it for that to happen. I wouldn't mind re-rolling the enchant on this. Do I think it'll definitely be a good call? No. 10% uh, lucky hit chance is actually really good because we want to be critting more. So yeah, that yeah, that's good. Simple as that. Oh, you can't do it again. Uh-oh. Ayo. I mean, I think it's working well. Alright. Swagger. I hate to say it, but it's just the best. <laughs> Such a tiny room. Guys, I, I was trusting you there. Oh. Uh-oh. I literally just didn't get my dash back in time there. That sucks. All right. This guy is a nightmare for a close range build. I just can't, I can't fight him at a close range. He stand, he's... This guy, specifically, is always a problem. I sent him back. Do not want him. Uh, that could be good, but, like... Okay, this is too, too fun. We shouldn't buy anything, probably. Tempting. This is tempting. I'm not gonna do it. Cause I wanna get an extra mana because I wanna increase my um do I get extra dashes? I think I get extra mana for it. Uh extra damage over time. This has no cap. Each point of mana additionally grants 26% more damage over time from effects inflicted. By mana draining weapons. Mm -hmm. I'm on fire, dude! Fire, please. How much use is money? 
this far in the run. There, there's still there's still some time. Intelligence is crit. Is that my? I didn't know if that was mine, my stuff or not. I've got too much garbage on the screen that I can't tell. Love it. Whoa, that was such a bold dash. For what's worth, I wouldn't mind another one. I don't know if this is better. What is Aurora? Oh, I mean, sure. Could be good. Please. I don't care. This is a sword, right? Yeah. <laughs> Trying to get that initial dash in. There's one little part of the window that, that works pretty well. Ooh, getting this right before the boss. I'll take it. Hmm. We can do better. That's it. Sorry, it just... It just works. So when we move, we increment our tally counters. We have a tally counter for this. Um. And... We have... Swagger. I it's it sucks because there's a couple perks that are core pieces of like every build. So people would be like, man, can't believe he took Dynamo again, but that's not like a Dynamo I I wanted to do Dynamo combustion yesterday. It wasn't a thing. It couldn't work. But we have Trigger Maniac. I mean, what I what do you want? <laughs> of course. Swagger, of course we have to. It gives us the extra on dash effects. So the on dash effects. When we dash, we summon a you know, the melee shadow clone, increasing our crit chance. I don't know what to say, you know, we gotta we gotta do what we gotta do to an extent there. How much or accessory? I don't think we'll change either. Uh if anything is up for trade i also could just do this whatever if anything's up for trade it'd be like a charm uh or a summon i honestly not even an, okay well I'll, I'll i'll look at any legendary obviously i've done something bad <laughs> I've done something bad. <laughs> uh, 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 <laughs> what have I done? Uh, we're going to hell, right? For what, for what we've done. It's a Ruby's poor game. Huh. Don't I have an extra perk yet? No, that, that is my last perk. It should be, for what it's worth. I don't know why that guy went away, but yeah, sure. I'm not going to have a whole lot of non-crits left at this point. Is it basically just like if somebody gets hit by fire once, 
they eventually they kind of start to go away. Forever. Like, I think literally getting hit by a fire slowly evaporates them. Oh, I already have that. You're right. Thank you for reminding me. Mm. Yeah. Literally one hit and they go away. Doesn't even have to be for me. I got rid of my curse removal thing. You know what? Wow me. Just look at all these shadow clones. This is just for me attacking, let alone me dashing. Look at them. Look at him go. I guess I'll take a resin. Lightning damage, mostly for the status effect. Makes him take, uh, I think, increased damage. I don't think it's more damage. I guess I don't know how to check right now. Bop, 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 bop. Wait, why did I do that? I thought this was the final floor because of just how much I ripped it in half. So I... Oh, well. It's unlikely that I trade my boots, but it's probably more likely than my, uh, my fire set. Is he going to teleport away? That's basically the question. Cool. <laughs> Boots have knives on them. I mean, it's good. It's good. Too. Yeah, it's good too. Oh, interest ooh, interesting. This is the day that that would actually be good, if anything. I don't think I take it though. The literally the multiplied damage plus the uh, increased damage. No, this is also multiplied. Jeez, man. What the hell? I really wish I didn't do the tanks, then I could add another star. It would have been even stupider than it already is, but I really don't need to complain. Did I just crit something? Did I, like... Oh no, that's the uh, the rockets for my gloves. I wouldn't have uh, I wouldn't have minded replacing those. Wouldn't have been a big deal. We could still get um, extra. Ooh, there's extra attack speed. Oh, oh, I'm not taking damage for it. Can't make me. But uh, we'll get a resin because we did make it so we lost that cold we can what, reduce their movement speed snooze i think i'm already good on crit but like i genuinely i believe you but i just i genuinely am like oh my god increase oh i don't have the bombs never feel like i have to care about bombs in this zone and then i always get screwed over for not caring about bombs in this zone so let's get a bomb in this zone only for it to never matter again 
Whoa. I'm out of dashes. I wanted this one first. Seven. We check. Get the armor. Uh, ten souls. We we res we just show some restraint. Dude, I hate this floor. Oh, we got a huge movement speed down. Ah, eh, whatever. It's not going to matter. We have the revive. Probably wore off like a room ago. I doubt there's anything. Eh, we might as well keep that at this point. Yeah. All right. We might like crash. How do you like my fire, man? Cheater. God, the movement speed down from the poison. Very noticeable. What is happening right here? You're lucky you teleported away, friend. Drink on his grave. Oh boy. What a day, what a lovely day. Mash, mash, mash. Another day, another game break. Another day, another time where the game goes, okay, dude, all right, hold on. I'm dying here. <laughs> if you get the game to throw an error code, you you've won. You've won in a more real sense. <laughs> All right. Man, that felt nice. You know what I also have on good authority? Uh I remember seeing in the Discord that trigger builds are getting their damage buffed by a lot, so we'll see how this goes. <laughs> this is a, an interesting combination, but I think the thing is it really does just, <sighs> what is the problem and what has been the problem in uh, most things? It's like, I don't want it to get nerfed because everyone, you know, whatever. Swagger is too strong and I'm aware of it. I'm gonna have to go back to saying, yeah, I don't really want to take swagger. Just like, I have to, it's one of those things like the soul scar where I'm going to have to say, I know it's the right choice, but I want a different thing. Because, but unfortunately, like, there's so many builds, like, um, his Lance, I think there are a couple things that he starts with that benefited from it. You benefit from it. Um, I mean, this, you know, maybe, maybe not. Remember, your thing could have been good with it. Obviously, uh, Shadow Jutsu, by definition, anything that's on dash, so therefore Jester also benefits greatly from it. I think that's the thing, is that it just... It's two perks in one. One perk that's really good, and one perk that's broken in the same perk. And I think that's, that's the issue, is it serves too many builds right now, where it feels like it should at least... And I know there's uh, you know, yeah. uh, pitchforks kill retromation, but it feels like it should be remove the crit thing and put it in a different perk and buff it a little bit. And then the um, have the dash part like on blank tally uh, trigger dash effects that can stay the same and be its own perk and it's worth taking. 
it's worth taking always like almost almost always because it's worth taking on prospect i think that's the issue is when something is gets so strong because like yes i have self-restraint and i can just decide at this point i'm not going to use it but there's some people who have that kind of like weird feeling where it's like ah, it's there i guess i feel like i have to take it you know like and i know you don't but it's like if someone's just trying to win they'll just and they are having issues with it they'll just take the things that always work but maybe they'll feel kind of bored by it i don't know it's one of those things where it's a little bit weird um because i can always just not take it right yes but then best case scenario it takes up my perk slots you know it show best case scenario it takes up my slots and i have to see it and i don't want to take it always ever again you know that would be the best case scenario of me deciding to never take it so that's why like that's just one of many reasons why there is potential validity to nerfing things in a single player game and i think that's a, a discussion that a lot of people on the internet aren't ready for <laughs> i have definitely found uh i'm not saying it should be gutted i do want it to be useful still i think there's a good way to do it and i think it's splitting it into two separate perks and buffing the one half of it that isn't as strong as the other half and i, and I think you boom great easy peasy still busted still broken still gonna ruin the game still gonna whoosh, and by ruin i mean ruin like today's version of ruin where we throw error codes at the top of the screen we're gonna ruin the code of the game <laughs> it's still gonna be unfathomably broken and better than almost anything else but that even take that just takes it down a notch right uh, anyway so last last that's that this is gonna do it for today thank you for watching check the channel roguelikes more every single day if you'd be sad to see the series go we got him to know in the form of comment down below thank you for watching thank you thank you and i will see you next time Bye bye